Hi Aquarius, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-May general reading. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in an Aquarius, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Aquarius, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Aquarius, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. I'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves. Aquarius, let's get right into this. Again, this is your mid-May general reading. Y'all know the drill. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Aquarius? Thank you. All right, my love, you have a huge decision to make. Two of swords at the bottom of the deck is a huge choice. I'm hearing choice, choice more than decision. It's almost the same thing, but you have choices, you have options. And it's like with the two of swords, you're like, I'm not ready to make that choice or decision. I'm not ready to do that. I don't know everything just yet. Also for a solid group of you, you're refusing to make a, a choice or decision because you don't want to see a harsh truth. That's coming in. It's like, it's like the, the blinders right here is the ace of swords. Um, so for some of you, you're like, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Fill in the blank. I don't want to know. Current energy for Aquarius. Thank you, spirit. Woo! Four of Wands out first. Four of Pentacles. A lot of y'all are probably seeing a lot of fours right now. Four, 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 44. Very solid, beautiful angel number. You're protected. You're guided. You're on the right path. Beautiful energy. Um, four of Wands is definitely telling me for most of you, you're in a relationship or a commitment of some sort, okay? Um, this is a very much a twin flame energy. Um, With the Ace of Wands crossing this, so I feel like, and the Two of Wands, this is like, I feel like there's been a connection established, but where do we want to take it is like the ha the second part of this, right? Four of Wands, hey, we both like this. You, I show up this way, you show up this way. That's in your career. That's with a friend. That's with a romantic partner. You've, you're in a union with your job. This is general, okay? But you've established a very solid connection with someone or in a situation. Where does it go from here? Ace of Wands, Two of Wands. Lots of fire already. Some of you definitely could be dealing with fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone with a lot of fire in their chart. Very loud energy, funny, spontaneous. I'm hearing entertainment entertainer, okay? Oh, they're an entertainer. They're an entertainer, or you are. Where is this going? Where is this new, newly established? Even if you've been in a marriage for 20 years, where is it going? Your focus, Ace of Cups, Seven of Swords. Okay. I love them, but I can't tell anybody. I'm in love with this person, but I would never tell my friends. I would never, never tell X, Y, and Z over there. You are deeply in love. Your focus, your focus is Ace of Cups, new love, unconditional love, Seven of Swords. I see like a zipper over the mouth. Like mm, I would never, I would never admit that. Some of y'all have like the deepest feelings for someone, for your job, for something, and but you were like. Hell if anyone will know about that though. Way too many. Recent past. Y'all can't make it up. Wow, lovers could have been dealing with a Gemini. This is a divinely guided person or situation. King of Wands. 
big fire energy, masculine fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the masculine. Doesn't have to be a male, they hold masculine energy. This was divinely guided. The union and connection that you're probably in now, it was definitely, it was, it's meant to be with the seven, with the, I'm sorry, with the lovers. It's, it's, the angels put this together. But again, oh, that's where the choice, uh, that's where the two of swords comes into play. You had a choice then and you still have a choice now. <gasps> Ooh. What's crowning you? Your independence. You love connection. You love your friends. You love to be seen and heard. But also Aquarius is like, but I also am my own person. You're also very independent AF. And your mind is, your, got my mind on my money. And I ain't going away. Some of y'all, um, little Rihanna popped in here. Yeah, but in your focus is your money, your worth, your independence, your career, your foundation, your family. And I don't mean that in the ego, e e ego way, because I feel for a lot of you, there feels a little hint, hint of a test on someone that is probably coming back around in your life. Have you learned the value of your worth yet? Uh, near future for Aquarius, please. Yeah, huge truth. There's that two of swords like we talked about that you're like, I don't want to see or I don't want to know. Or maybe I just don't know yet. Now you know. And it's coming in hot and fast. Uh, this is your energy or another air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is coming in hot and fast. Your energy. Star card. You, it's like you're going to clear the air. You're going to make an announcement. There is swift communication coming in in the near future about your situation. What's your power? What's Aquarius's power here, please? Thank you. Five of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. I don't know, we're gonna get it deeper in it. I'm literally getting the biggest middle finger energy in the world, Five of Swords. I just see y'all going, yeah. fuck all of you. You're pissed. Not, it's not necessarily fuck all of you, it's fuck this. And then you like drop your bags and you drop your, someone, you're upset. What's your power is you drop something and you go, fuck this. I don't know why I'm about to apologize for cursing because I curse all the time on this channel, but. Can I get one more? Why? No, yeah, we need one more. We need one more. Why is Aquarius this? What's their power? Hermit, eight of wands. Um, with with the Hermit and the Nine of Pentacles, some of you, there is a connection. There's a group of people. There's something that you have signed up for already and you're in some kind of commitment and you're like, you know what? I think I might need to pull back now. And it, the pullback also comes with the Nine of Swords and the Five of Wands. It's like a oh, energy. What's hidden from you? Magician and the King of Wands. That's just a match on this Four of Wands over here. So someone who is asking for you, someone who's making wishes here, someone who kind of can get whatever they want. A little bit of a player vibe. With the Magician, you gotta be careful. This is someone who knows their power and knows how to use their power. What are your hopes and fears, Aquarius? Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. You're like, I don't mean it to be about the money, but it's a little bit about the money. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Money is literally an energy. It's a frequency that is required on this earth, on this planet. Physical, physical energy. It, it, 
worth. It's okay. Some of you are like, I feel guilty for making a decision about money, but for a lot of you, you are. I hope that they're abundant. I hope that I'm taken care of. I hope that they're mature. I hope that they're healthy. I'm in fear that I'll have to do everything. I'm in fear that there's still a page. I'm in fear that I'll have to pay for everything. I'm in fear. Yeah. What's the outcome here for Aquarius? Okay, you got two. Wow, all this pentacle energy, strong earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We are in Taurus season. So these are about physical things coming into your reality here. We have the Knight of uh, Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles. Beautiful, Aquarius. This is on the path, the steady path, okay, with the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like we're finding some kind of balance in between. We were looking at the Page of Pentacles and the King, someone who's very young, someone who's very old, someone who's a student someone who's very very experienced okay bear with me here we're gonna find some middle ground here the night we're gonna we're gonna figure it out and we're gonna equal give and take here i do see i do see six of pentacles one person giving to two and that might be your middle ground for now um is to still i don't know why i'm saying still to still continue to give to two things people whatever um four of pentacles bottom of the deck Three of Swords, ouch. Tower, Two of Wands, Page of Cups, Seven of Wands. Um, all I can tell you in regards to your feelings, the more that you fight the way that you feel authentically about somebody, whether that's about a friend, someone that you're in love with, whatever, the more that you fight those feelings, the more upsetting tower moments and karma will keep being served to you, if that makes sense. It's like, are you sure you're not in love with this person? The universe will bring you something that will very much upset you to slap it in your face to go, did you want them in your life or not? Okay. Let's go back to the beginning. You're in a commitment union, some type of commitment. You've signed up for it and someone has also signed up to be with you. This is general. It can also be you and a friend moving in together you in a career being on the same page please keep it general ace of wands where is this going though there's a lot of passion there's a lot of physical activity here okay ace of cups the focus is god damn it i am in love with this person i am in love with this thing this whatever it's, it's meant to be divinely guided you also want to make sure in your mind, Aquarius, you're like, but I don't want to lose myself, Nine of Pentacles. I don't want to lose my independence. I don't want to lose my career. I don't want to lose myself in this commitment. For a small group of you, I heard it feels like a trap. Like when you're in a relationship, when you're tied too closely to someone, that's some homework, that's some digger deeping. It feels like a trap to you. And to those of you that resonate with that, with that, that is homework, okay? You should never feel trapped in a relationship. That means that you're trapping yourself or there's a lot of fucking dishonesty going on. In the near future, coming out with the truth. Hot, heavy, it might hurt a little bit, some other people, but I don't care, I gotta say it. I gotta get it off of my chest. Also could be someone saying something towards you, we're gonna find out. Your power is like F all this, Someone's manifesting and asking to be in your life. I think they're taking baby steps to be in full swing with you outcome. Someone's tiptoeing around you or your energy or your situation to get a chance to be on this stable path with you. Knight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Let's go deeper and clarify. I've already pre-shuffled and cut this deck. You've got you at the bottom of the deck in the feminine. Queen of Swords. The cup, the love is on lockdown. It's in jail. The, the love that you have, all this love, it's locked. Locked. Throw, someone threw away the key. You threw away the key.
You have the king and the queen of swords, excuse me, at the bottom of the deck with the seven of pentacles and the emperor, what? That's a match. This is you and someone really, really very similar. Y'all may not see eye to eye all the time, who does? But at the same time, there's like this energy of one person's in two places and the person who's not in two places. Whoever this queen of swords is, it feel, almost feels like you, Aquarius, like you, it, you, you feel like you don't even have a choice here. That's that two of swords energy, but you do. Okay, that's what that is about. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Why are you the four of wands? Commitment. It's also like a party. It's an. It's a. Uh, it's not an invitation. Um, it's a party. It's a celebration. It's. It's a marriage card. No. Why is this four of wands here for Aquarius, please? Seven of Wands, Knight of Swords, which is what we're about to see here. <laughs> oh, what's this Four of Wands for Aquarius? Yeah. Four of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. It's like, again, I see like I'm hearing amigos. I love that. Hey amigos, hey amigas. <laughs> Your friends, okay? They're asking you. Hey, what's up with you and so-and-so? I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, I don't, I'm not with them. I, what are you talking about? I, I, I've just been working today. I, I'm, I'm doing my own thing. I, that's you. For a small group of you, three of cups, immediately you're in a third party in a commitment. It is what it is. Um, but I see overall about this commitment, you're fighting it. You're fighting it. You're fighting it. No, I'm fine. We're good. Everything's okay. I'm good. I'm fine. But in this seven of wands, you're very touched by this person. You're very moved by this person. Ace of wands. Do we see this in this seven of wands? Like you're protecting your peace. You think that you're at peace by avoiding this in whatever way. And it's like, yeah, you can keep most of the, the battle of the situation at bay Aquarius, but there's that one wand that keeps getting to you. And that's this wand right here. Let's talk about it. Knight of wands, this player energy is having a good time. It's literally having a good time. There's nothing wrong with that. But for some of you, you're in a relationship or you're in a commitment. What's this Ace of Wands for Aquarius, please? I, you, I, 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 bah! Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords. Again, whether you, I don't know how, why y'all are fighting who this is or why y'all are fighting this person or not really fighting the person, you're fighting the way you feel. That's why this Queen of Swords in the Lysier's deck, Queen of Swords, your heart is on lockdown. Your heart is not available. I don't know why that's for you to figure out, but you at the same time, as much as your heart is on lockdown, it's day by day getting unlocked by probably a certain person. But everything inside of you says, no, not them, not that, not that thing. You can't help it. What's this Ace of Wands for Aquarius, please? Moon card, Page of Cups, World card. This is some deep, deep moon card, Pisces energy deep this is the, this is the energy of the ocean for god's sakes you have all the feels stop lying to me i can see you you have all the feels in the world page of cups for someone that you love unconditionally 
and they love you unconditionally. World card. No, no, I don't. No, that's over. No. We are upon Mercury retrograde, I believe. Don't quote me. Check in with your local astrologer on this one. I'm pretty sure Mercury retrograde officially starts tomorrow. But fuck, we've been in shadow period for over a week. So is this a time for exes and old friends, old whatevers to pop back in? You better bet. You better bet. But this is not really about that toxic ex for you. This is about a twin flame, a divinely guided soulmate. I mean, for a group of you, sure, it could be a karmic connection. But Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups, that's like where you like, that's your truth. It's like, you're like, I don't like that I know this about myself, but I'm completely in love with this person. They may not be, they may not have like the money I want them to have. They may not have the right job I want them to have. A little bit of that 3D energy comes in, in your perception and in your decision about this person or situation. Why are you focused on the Ace of Cups? Because you're, this is your everything. Because it means absolutely everything to you. That's why. Ace of Cups, Undeniable Love, Page of Swords, Six of Swords, Goddamn, Ten of Motherfucking Pentacles, the Everything card. With the Chariot and the Sun, what? The more that you, Page of Swords, talk things out, work it out, communicate, Epiphany, 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 epiphany. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I see, I see, I see. Light bulb after light bulb after light bulb going off for you. Six of swords, ten of pentacles. I gotta get out of this choppy waters and we need to move into smoother sailing waters together. Ten of pentacles is about family, legacy, energy. You have a strong potential to have like a power couple living up like a legacy, leaving a legacy with somebody. But then when your friends check in on you, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, what are you talking about? Please stop. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> What's this lover's card for Aquarius, please? Divinely guided Gemini energy. Why is the lovers in the recent past Five of Cups, Seven of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> because you missed someone, they missed you. Eight of Swords, Seven of Cups, Five of Cups. Y'all couldn't get each other out of your head. Out of your head. Have you and this person probably made each other an option in the past? Probably yes. And even if you were made, made someone's option, there's something about this specific thing, person, situation. You're like, I, I don't know why. I just, I'm so in love. A lot of you also, you tried to move on. You tried to explore your options after having a disappointment in this per, with this person or with this situation. Temperance. Um, this has been divinely guided to come back together for two of swords for you to make a decision about this. And you're crowning on your nine of pentacles. Y'all, you can't make this up. This is crazy. You have the nine of pentacles again. You see how the cards just fall out. Come on now. Nine of pentacles, queen of wands, page of wands, five of pentacles. You definitely, there's, there's no, I'm hearing in your mind, like when in the crowning energy, you're saying over my dead body, Will any person, friend, career, anything take my independence from me again? I'm hearing free agent from you. Like, I'm a free agent. I can do what I want. I do what I want. I do what I want. Cool, cool. Do what you want. What's this Queen of Wands about? Two of Pentacles. 
Six of Cups, Nine of Swords. Why the page, the sun, <laughs> justice, hair. Okay. With the two, the queen of wands and the page of wands, it's like very mother-daughter energy for some of you. Maybe it's like mom doesn't approve, but you're like, I'm going to go for it anyway. Or dad doesn't approve. Or society. someone's like, in this queen of wands energy, someone's very passionate about you being you, staying in your authenticity, but you're like, I can still do that, but I also can like have fun with this person. And like, you're like, I'm gonna have fun with this person. <laughs> but the having fun with this person was like six of pentacles, like harmony, balanced energy, which also is your outcome card. What is this Knight of Swords coming in near future for Aquarius? This is a major like, hey, hey, saving the day, Speaking the truth, clearing the air. Ah, I'm about to shut off your reading, you're done. <laughs> what is it that you need to say from the rooftops? What was it again? Ace of Cups, again. Seven of Swords, Aquarius. You've been keeping your feelings about this person slash situation under wraps for so long or for a hot minute, either way. <sighs> Knight of Swords is like, I have to say what I need, say what you need to say, right? Say what you need to say. It's like that kind of energy. It's like, hey, you know what? I might hurt some other people's feelings or I don't know, but I gotta say it. It's like, I have to get this off of my chest. What, what do you have to get off of your chest? I love you. That's it. <sighs> Seven of Swords. You're, and you've been lying, 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 mostly to yourself. I'm gonna put him back, I'm gonna put him back. But the devil came out because there's been some shallow energy here. They don't make enough money. They're not cute enough. They're not whatever, there's something not enough about somebody and you're just like, that's why you're like, no, I'm not, mm -mm, mm -mm, no, mm -mm, I don't, I wouldn't, I don't, I don't play with that. I don't deal with that. I don't do that. That's not on my level. It's not, no. You can pretend to play status all day long, but when it comes to matters of the heart and how we feel about people and emotions and all the things, you cannot deny it. And that's what you're finally realizing, Aquarius. What's this Knight of Swords for you in your future? Queen of Pentacles and the Lovers again, okay? Knight of Swords again. This is something that is an investment for you. Some of you are, are maybe a little bit fearful about being with someone and like, I have to be the provider. I have to, I don't know, something about money is coming up. It's a, it is an issue with someone that you're talk, talking to, dealing with. For some of you in career, I feel like you've been asking for a long time for more money, more pay grade, more bonus, something like that. And you're like, you're finally getting it. Why is the five of swords your power here with the hermit? What's this five of swords about for Aquarius? Huge, huge, huge decision judgment came out with this with the wheel of fortune i mean this is karma Th this is this is now whatever decisions that you make it is going to affect i heard a very dramatic sentence heard the rest of your life but this is gonna this is going to affect your foreseeable future we'll put it that way and you know that because we have the 10 of pentacles. We were talking about your everything, your family, your partner, your home, your legacy, your money, your career, your everything. I have a huge decision to make about this. Aquarius, why are you the five of swords? Keep telling me that y'all don't have feelings for each other, king and queen of cups. That's the uh, that's the soulmate. That's the that's the soulmate partnership right there. What is this five of swords? 
for Aquarius, Three of Swords, Full Card. Oh, this is about forgiveness. Can you forgive this person and trust that they won't hurt you again? Hermit, why are you the hermit? Empress. Um, yeah, and then, the, okay, Hangman, for a small group of you, I guess, I guess someone's mom is a little bit of a cock blocker or dad or like something like that. Um, someone's like, mm, I don't approve. And you're like, well, I guess because my mom doesn't approve or my dad doesn't approve. I shouldn't, but then you're like, fuck it. It's my life. I'm going to love who I want. I mean, you are scared of getting your heart broken again, but also at the same time, Empress Four of Wands. Why is the judgment card here? What's this huge decision? I can't, you can't, we can't, I don't under, I, mm, mm, mm. I never go back and watch these. I never could because that right there is like so embarrassing. <laughs> On this huge decision that you're making, already the King of Cups came out and we saw it with the Queen earlier. I go, anything else on this decision? Queen of Cups is about love, relationships, soulmates. This is a soulmate, co soulmate connection. Twin flame, fuck the labels. You call it what you want, babes. You call it what you want. Why is a magician hidden from you? Well, there's your king of swords. That's your other match there. King of wands, seven of pentacles, hangman. Yeah, this is someone who's planning something. Um, they're making plans about you, um, but they're, they're also in an indecision. King of wands, knight of wands, two of cups, two of swords. This person really wants to be with you. Oh, that's what it is. But they're scared about disappointing you about money again. And I was like, anything else? Two of cups. They love you. This person's scared about disappointing you. So they are a little manipulative, but it's in the way of like, I, I'm picking up on say this person doesn't make a lot of money and say you do and y'all love each other. And you're like, I'm going to just go with it. Their like little manipulation is, it's not really a manipulation. They're like, well, hey, they might not have physical money, but like they have resources. Like, like, hey, if you want to go to that nice restaurant, maybe they can't pay for it, but they've got the hookup. They know the chef. They know the bartender where y'all can get maybe a discount on drink. I, I mean, I don't know. Like these are the kind of things coming up here where this person has like, and they're saying an alternate route, an alternate way to provide for you, to take care of you, okay? What's this page of pentacles for you? Hopes and fears. Four of swords, queen of cups. You definitely don't want to be hurt by this person again, obviously. Why is the page of pentacles here? Knight of wands, because this person has player energy, but if y'all are twin flames or soulmates, so do you. Oh, y'all didn't like that. Oh. King of Wands, look at that. Knight of Wands to the King of Wands. It's time to grow up in our actions, okay? It's time to grow up and be more mature here, okay? Five of Pentacles. Especially when you're in separation or in lack energy and fear energy. Some of you are scared that this person's gonna play you again. But guess what? They're not the, the Knight of Wands, they're the King of Wands now, okay? There's a huge lion over this person's shoulder. It's loyalty. Outcome, justice on your Knight of Pentacles, Libra energy, star card, you. What's this outcome energy? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think y'all are making it all work out here. So nine of pentacles, six of pentacles is your outcome here, Aquarius. Um, again, very like steady energy with you on this path for the long haul here. Um, and trying to find balance in between the old you and the new you also trying to find balance between the old us and the new 
us. Yeah, love it. Um, Justice, Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Hierophant, very strong Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra on the table. Um, when you commit to higher calling, when you commit to that mature energy, investing in yourself, the healthy route, doing things for the long haul, investing in yourself, being around people that want to invest in you, longevity, stability. That's when things work out. This will take work, but I see this working out at a higher level commitment. You got the fucking Hierophant. Okay, that's huge. Justice is here. It's yours. Huge, huge next level commitment. Um, y'all have the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And also, I don't know if y'all can see this, but the, the deck is splitting on its own. And the Emperor is also making himself, himself known. And you're the Empress down here. So this is a soulmate divine counterpart situation that's your reading i love y'all um we're gonna do the pick a card those of you that want to do your love reading where we connect with your other person in love and romance that's the first link in the description box below um or i'll see you next time the person the aquarius that won the pick a card this time is actually a far hat Ashley, you are my winner. So Aquarius, if you want me to pick your card next time, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time, I might pick you. I love y'all so much. I'll see you in the love reading or next time. All right, this is for Ashley, please. Y'all know this is my coffee break time. For anyone else look here, oh my God. Isn't this like the coffee cup of all coffee cups? so cute and it's very aquarius energy it's very alien looking i love it it's a starbucks cup i'm in no way shape or form sponsored by them but i do drink there almost every day so i'm an iced coffee aholic <laughs> Ashley, you've got one more shuffle. Girl, thank you so much for being a subscriber. That shit makes my world go round. Yes, ma'am. Y'all are so close to 300,000. So close. Spirit, what do we have for Ashley? Seven of Wands, you're in a very defensive. Um, you're fighting a battle solo is what Spirit said specifically. You are fighting a battle all on your own. Nine of Swords, it's a battle of the mind. Four of Cups, because you're bored as fuck in your emotions. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit of a making excuses for bad behavior because, 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 because. There's a lot of ex making excuses energy. I'm not coming down hard on you, but you need to hear that. Ashley, what do we have for you? Oh shit, Judgment, Three of Swords, Strength, Leo's card. There's that Seven of Wands. You're going through a major heartbreak or you're about to. You know you have to make a, that's what it is. You know you have to make a decision and it's either gonna hurt you or hurt someone else or both. Ashley. Six of Wands, okay, so you're gonna come out being victorious here when you, Eight of Wands, when you open up lines of communication. Page of Wands, and we have the Fool at the bottom of the deck, Ten of Wands. <clears throat> You've been definitely dealing with, been dealing with a burden, something that's been very difficult for you you know I'm hearing overdue, like past time to make a decision. Like you've been sitting on making a huge decision um, and you haven't done it yet. Three of Swords Strength card because it'll hurt. It'll hurt you, it'll hurt your heart to make this decision, Six of Wands, but it'll be a victorious decision once you make it. <clears throat> and it'll actually clear out all of your energy, Page of Wands. You'll feel like a kid again is what, they'll say, is what they're saying.
current energy on your um, <clears throat> judgment. Empress, King of Wands, Four of Cups. I feel like you're in a relationship with someone um, and you're bored. You're like, man, honeymoon phase is over with and I'm bored. You're bored in a connection with somebody. Strong emphasis on Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, masculine energy. You're like, ah, I've kind of been bored for a while. What's this, Three of Swords? Yeah, you're about to, when you explain to this person, it's gonna hurt them, Two of Swords. It's like you're basically about to break up with someone because you're bored. Hierophant. Oh shit, y'all might be married. You might be breaking a huge commitment. Three of Swords, Two of Swords, mm, Temperance. Mm. Yeah, you're breaking a huge promise that you made, a huge commitment that you made. And two of swords is when this person asks you why you don't really have a solid excuse. Like, I don't know. I don't know. You're like all over the place with your answers. You're not speaking your truth. You know how you feel, but you're not speaking your truth. You're only making it worse. Why is the strength card here for Ashley, please? Leo's card. Could be also dealing with a Leo. You have the king of wands, three of cups. And the star card. You. Hangman. Oh, I see. Well, there's your match. There's the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Cups, High Priestess. Again, I feel like your friends, your family, your community, your tribe. Hey, how's it going with you? Everything's fine, but that's a lie. Um, when you look at things from a new perspective, again, Knight of Cups, Queen of Wands here. Um, you have strong feelings towards someone's energy that you match here. What's this six of, what's this six of wands? Holy shit. Justice card, 10 of cups to the eight of cups. Dang, high priestess. So you don't really feel like it's a victory, but you are, things have been out of balance here in this connection and you are moving on. It's a victory for you, a win for you. Not sure about the other person, but you are moving on from a 10 of cups, okay? Okay, what's this page of wands for Ashley here? 10 of swords, temperance. Yeah, this is about you letting go, healing your energy, clearing your mind. Yeah, this is where you'll have energy again because this has been weighing so heavy on your shoulders it's almost like you felt extra drained and tired because you have been, because this has been clogging up all of your energy. So it's like you're gonna let it go. Yeah, King of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. You're definitely moving towards stability here within yourself, with your career, with your money, with your family, that kind of energy. I feel like there is a love interest that is kind of off the table. This person does feel like a some type of soulmate or twin flame potential connection. Um, I feel like either you've been with this person for a long time, but it's just been very unfair and balanced. Um, there has been a third party. I'm not seeing continuously, but at some point, and you are fully aware of it. I don't know if you've forgiven or they've forgiven, whatever. That doesn't really factor in, but it has been known and made available to either one of you. It's been, or been known to, to both of you. It's like you're choosing yourself, your family, your career over this person, okay? And your stability comes first is what you're telling me, okay? All right, Ashley, that's your reading. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. I'll see you in the love reading or next time. Bye.